Welcome to part two of active and passive voice for use with Pearson, my perspectives, unit one, rites of passage, and specifically with the story, the medicine bag. If you watched part one of the video, you'll notice that we were looking at some um, sentences like the red convertible was driven by Johnny, our Thanksgiving turkey was eaten by the dog, and we said that those were passive voice because the subject is being acted upon by whatever that verb is. The convertible isn't driving. The, the, the driving is being done to the convertible. The convertible is receiving it, so therefore it's passive voice. The subject is receiving, being eaten, so that's passive voice. Um, here's another one with the, the verb was parked. The convertible was parked. The convertible didn't do the parking. The parking was done to the convertible. Convertible is receiving the parking. Passive voice. Turkey is receiving the eating again. Um, so we have passive. But if you're paying attention, and this you'd have to be pretty slick to catch this, you're noticing that we the structure of these verbs is that we're adding in a be verb as a helper here. We have was driven. In the previous sentence, we had had Johnny drove. But this time we have a helping verb was here because we need that as a part of the passive voice. Now that's not the only thing we need for passive voice, but that's half of it. So was driven, was eaten. You see the was here again. We have was parked, we had been. There's our been, part of our be verb family. So let's take a look at the principal parts of verbs. Um, we have things like the present, today I eat, today I walk, today I drive, today I go. So we call those present. Um, we have the past, so yesterday I ate, yesterday I walked, yesterday I drove, yesterday I went. We have a present participle, and that's the ing form of a verb. So right now I am eating, right now I am walking, I am driving, I am going. And those ing verbs are what we call present participle. Many times I have eaten, many times I have walked, many times I have driven, many times I have gone. That's a form of the verb that we call the past participle. We're going to use the past participle. We have to use it along with the be verb in order to make that sentence be passive voice. So if we see the past participle form and we see the be verb together, we know that's past. Uh, we know that's a passive voice. But don't be fooled into thinking it's just the be verb. The be verb can also be used with the present participle. And so let's look at some that are using these. This present participle. So here we have be verbs being used as helpers all the way down through here. We have be verbs being used as helpers, but they are not passive structure. Neighbors are blocking me in. The neighbors are doing the blocking. That's still active, and that's because we're using that ing ending. Johnny is driving the red convertible, still active. The flamingos are doing the visiting. He is doing the parking. The girls are doing the going. The teacher is doing the giving. The dog has been doing the eating. So all of these sentences have a be verb connected. Are, is, are, is, are, be, been. We have all of those having the be verb connected, but they're not passive structure because they don't have that past participle. They have the present participle with the ing. What we need to do to make pa uh, passive is we need to come down here to that past participle form. In a regular verb, it's the same as past tense, but in irregular verbs, we have all kinds of different tenses, eaten, driven, gone. Um, there, there are just so many of those that are irregular. So here is where we see the be verb being used with that past participle form. I am blocked from getting out of my driveway. Or am I doing the blocking? No, I am the one who's receiving the being blocked, the blocking. The red convertible is driven by Johnny. Is the convertible doing the driving? Nope, the driving is being done to the convertible. Convertible is receiving, the subject is receiving the driving. The, uh, they are visited each year by a flock of flamingos. The flamingos are doing the visiting. They are receiving the visit, so therefore that is passive. The red convertible was parked near a tree we already looked at. Six sausages were gone before we even began serving. 
did the sausages do the going? No, some somebody else made the sausages go away. Uh, the sausages were receiving that process. The notes were given. The teacher gave the notes. The, the notes were what were being given. They were receiving that action. The license is being renewed. Um, the, the agency is renewing it. You are renewing it. The clerk is renewing it, but the license isn't renewing itself. It is being renewed. And uh, Thanksgiving turkey had been eaten before we arrived, we already discussed, but I also want to take you through the process here because we have our am, is, are, was, were, be, being, and been. So we have used all of those, but the key is that they're being used with that past participle form of the verb. So we know that in order to be a passive structure, that the subject is receiving the action of the verb. In order to be an active structure, the subject has to be doing the action. So think of that as act, action, active. It's all the same. If the subject is doing the action, then we have active. If the subject is receiving passively, just sitting there and receiving the action, then we are dealing with a passive structure. So these are all passive. I hope that works for you because it is time for us to launch ourselves into a, um, an IXL lesson on this.